This is a video I made of me working through a custom design request we got through our store just to share with you how I do my workflow. Thank you for watching. Hi, it's Maz. I am making this video to see how I design stuff because I have a custom design that I was supposed to start when I woke up, but when I woke up I thought, oh man, it'd be interesting to uh, record myself and actually keep track of what I do, which half the time I forget what I do, so it might be a good idea to go back and look. So I don't even know if I'm going to upload this, but if you are watching it, uh, I feel slightly sorry for you because it is unscripted and it is basically how I approach my work when I get custom orders. Um, for this, the customer ordered this deck box style, which is our EDH mag deck box. It has magnets in it and art on the top, and it's intended mostly for the Elder Dragon Hero uh, series of Magic the Gathering decks. Uh, this is not the art. The art is uh, they asked for the crown, and I'm assuming that uh, is the correct thing that they were asking for. Of course, I'll find out after I send them a draft. Um, basically, the request was, it is a Queen Marchessa inspired box. The crown is supposed to be white, and the gem is red. So this is actually pretty common stuff that I get asked to interpret. Um, so that's the box that it's coming from. And first things first is getting into Fusion, because that's where I do all of my work. Um, of course everything is saved over here. This I'm not going to tell you how to use Fusion because that's not the kind of video it is. Anyway, so when I start, I use a blank one. So I have a basic blank box down here that I saved. And I just open that. And this is basically my template that I use for any future design work because it's usually always just the top that changes. So the next thing I do is I do a file save as and then of course make sure it's in the same right spot and it is going to be Queen Marchessa is this one. The overall look the next thing I like to do is to like kind of visualize what I'm starting with. So uh, by that I mean the skin of the box. Of course, after you print it, it doesn't really make any difference. Uh, this box is going to get made in a uh, like a bluish glitter material. Uh, so I just drop on the material in there to kind of help me see what I'm doing and this is kind of more of a grayish blue it's it's a, it's a protopost experiment so it's kind of different uh, next thing is, is I throw in my canvas now sometimes I'll actually paint over my picture but in this case I'm probably not going to because I don't know for some reason to me it feels like it might be actually more work to um, try to paint, hand paint something and then redraw it when I could just uh, pull it in here. So I do an attached canvas kind of thing <clears throat> and then so the main part is we're using the crown, right? So I want to make the crown sort of my centerpiece. Of course it's always too dark and I can't really see. So, it could be bigger, I think, right? Maybe around... So what I'm doing is I'm trying to eyeball between here is a margin, and then over here is a margin. So I could technically move a slightly more that way, and then this is a margin up here. I don't know, I think that looks pretty good. So that's, that's where I stick the crown, right? Now I have to figure out how am I actually going to make this into something that's going to translate into a 3D print? So I'm going to start by creating a sketch on here. 
And I know basically what I do want to do. And whenever I sketch on here, I usually... My phone's ringing? That's weird. Oh, I don't know who that is. If you try calling me and I don't have your phone number saved, I won't answer. Future note. Um, so whenever I sketch something, I always hide the bodies because it'll usually try to like snap to um, points on existing bodies and I don't really like that. It's kind of annoying. So that's why I do that. So I'm just going to kind of take the general shape here. Because I don't really know what I want to do yet. And whenever I like sketch things, I sort of dance around a little bit. I don't really stick with the same area. Let's see, maybe I'll yeah. I'll fix that later. That's the point of sketching, right? You fix it, you somewhat fix it later. Um, I'm using the spline tool. And I use the spline tool for most all of the things that I make. Uh, yeah. Um, one of the things that I do pretty often also is I don't over constrain my sketches because I usually like to move them around after the fact, which doesn't really work out if it's constrained, because at that point you're kind of like screwed. It's like, well, and then you have to go in and edit the constraints and say, no, I don't really want that constrained, but thank you for, I guess, constraining it for me, even though I didn't. I wasn't, I wasn't really wanting to do that. And I'm mumbling at this point. You feel free to mute me. Okay. Oh, okay. Now I feel like I'm just mumbling to myself to try to hear myself make noise. Which is totally not weird. Um, All right, almost. Yeah, I'd probably use a regular line for that. And then probably just kind of maybe have that go off as a point, I think. Because I mean, since this is going to be three-dimensional, I can't entirely have it. Uh, exact or whatever. I'm trying to think of words, but they aren't really working with me at the moment. Words are eluding me. So what I've sketched is kind of just the basic shape of it. I'm probably going to do some different stuff here to make it slightly more three-dimensional. Um, I usually try not to get too wild because, I mean, this thing's going to print and I don't want to overcomplicate myself or nor overcomplicate the design either. Um, I know this is technically tracing and it is, but it's also partially interpretation of a previous artist's work. So it's kind of still my own in a way, but you know, you can get a lawyer after me if you want and we'll figure it out. And you must make sure that you have some sort of beverage, like a beer. It helps with uh, creative, creative input. Isn't that right, dear? And you gotta have a cat on the floor. If you don't have a cat on the floor, that's just weird. Um, so it's supposed to be a white crown and a gem. I'm thinking I don't really want to use a circle because it doesn't really look like a perfect circle. It looks kind of more like a uh, ellipse. Slightly. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to use anything that's constrained because it doesn't even really look like what I want. Uh, so we'll just kind of make this here. And of course, you know, you can always move this stuff around after the fact. 
and get it to where you want it. I'm thinking the I'm picturing the gem's gonna like pop out, and uh, of course it's gotta be separate anyways because it's gonna be red. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll do something with that. So now basically I have what essentially would be a silhouette of the crown, right? So if I wanted to, I could just extrude this. Um, and just cut it out from the top of my lid. And I have a, a, a default that I normally do. Uh, I usually always go in one millimeter is what I cut for any kind of color changing. So just to see what I, I did is I cut out the crown. So right, that doesn't really look like anything. But I guess this would be a good time to make sure that I like the positioning of it. Because it needs to be somewhat proportionate. It needs to be balanced. It needs to, it needs to look nice. Uh, so for now, one of the things I'm noticing is I think the distance between these two lines, which it won't actually tell me there, but um, what I want to check is between here and here doesn't really look like a great distance. Yeah, it's like one millimeter. I can't even really do anything with that. So um, I'm going to need to beef this up so that way it'll come out a little bit better. So I could go maybe about yay because I'm going to be sticking a, a, a separate print inside of this. So that's why I need to kind of work with that there and make it thicker so I can actually fit something inside. I mean I could do a series of color changes but that's not what I'm doing and I'm pretty sure I already said that. Um, so yeah let's let's try that right. So from a distance I think that still works. I, th I think that's okay. Um, I'm kind of noticing I may have missed the band part. No, in the in the perspective of the art, that's what it is. So, the next thing that I want to do, or that I probably should have done, which again, this is not scripted. Um, I should have offset that already. So I'm going to go back to my sketch again, and. I need to offset it, although I didn't really make that very easy for that. Because I don't want to cut all this stuff up, because I want this this part separate and this part separate, the band separate, because of what I want to do to it. Which actually I should probably add to it. Well, if I extrude that up at an angle and then cut that back out, yeah, I think that'll work. Okay. So technically what I want to do is I have to give it room to be able to actually be able to set something in there. So I'm going to do an offset of my existing profile. I normally always do like 0.4, that seems like a good fitting uh, for getting stuff in. And then now I'm going to extrude this out to cut it away. Okay, so, yep, we'll cut that, which now I have kind of this weird little bit here, which uh, will probably print weird, so I should probably fix that, because I won't want to print that. I'm kind of picky. So I will simply just move this back, and then just try to keep my arc slightly, although that kind of looks weird. There. That should be better. It should work. Okay. And it looks like... Yeah, with my with my offset? Did you get that? Okay, good. I wanted to make sure, because sometimes you can't tell if it updated what you did or not. It's all in perception, I guess, if you're paying attention. Oh, and I know Fusion saves for you, but you should probably still make sure you save. 
So with the crown, what I want to do next is I have to add what I'm going to actually insert. So I'm going to turn back on my first crown sketch and extrude out uh, this part, which actually I probably don't really need it. Well, no, I should probably do the center. So I did it one, uh, and I think I'm going to go with a thickness of... Actually, I don't want these points because I'm not... I'm doing that kind of separate. I really just want the band. Yeah, I think I'm... I have an idea what I'm wanting to do here. Uh, let's see here... I'm having a brain fart! Oh, distance. Derps. Distance. I'm going 1.6, because I like that. Uh, yeah, new body is probably fine. Well, actually, no. I want you to be offset, because if I try to do something else, it's going to be weird. So let's do a 0.1 offset away, so that way you're already not sitting on top of it. So I have that, and then these points. I want to also extrude out. Right? And this one? Okay. And I need to make sure that I do my offset the same so that way it'll join but not uh, be a thing. And I'm actually going to use the arrows for this. Um, so I want to come up and just join and I'm going to Whoa, not that much. So it looks like at some point I lose... Oh, well, I don't need it that high up either. Maybe three? Yeah, three is probably fine. Then how far of a point can I get? Sorta, kinda? Yeah, I think that kinda works. I think, um... Thing I'm not liking right now is I, I never really like when stuff comes right out to a point like how this is mostly flat and then this comes out to a point on it I guess that probably doesn't really make sense at the moment uh, basically what I'm gonna do is go back I don't want to extrude you uh, yeah so Oh no, I think I actually kind of like that. Because then all I have to do is uh, delete this face. Because then I can get it to line up. Unless it doesn't want to. It's an angry beaver. It does not want to go. What if I do both? Yay! Oh. Oh well, that's fine. What I could do is... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll figure that part out later. So I have I have the points, right? Is what I was trying to get to. Yeah, so they need to be more pointed though. More of a point, I say. So what I want to do is probably step before my delete because I don't want to like do something weird and try to get this as much to a point as I possibly can so it kind of already looks like I might have to separate put these in different extrusions because having the one is like screwing up the other so why don't I step back so that's the crown that's wait what? Which one's which? Oh, that's the cutout. That's the crown. Those are the points. Okay, so points. I'm going to subtract it out. So I'm only doing one. It's angry. No, oh, now now Fusion wants to have a, a mood swing because I done click too many buttons. Oh, Fusion. I might have to just kill it. I'm impatient. 
I'm very impatient. Click all of the things. Click them all. I know you're not responding. I have impatience. Just, just go ahead and die right now and I'll figure it out. I'll just close already. Thank you. Alright, let's try this again. Alright. You know, sometimes I do things I'm not supposed to do and I break things and I'm not supposed to break them. It's a good thing I saved before, uh, before I did that. Alright. So, how far was I? I don't know what that is. Let's get rid of that. I had just did the cutout. Okay. So that's the part I was on. And really, Fusion is pretty stable. I, I'm just a, I'm a user that abuses Fusion, so, yeah. That's, that's, that's my excuse. Um, but that's good. This is at the starting point I wanted to be at. Okay. So, we are extruding this part here. Alright. Okay. And I'm going to do 1.6 with an offset of 0.1. And, okay. You don't have to do that. That's just, that's my weird, my weird thing. That I like to do. Okay, the next thing I want to do, which now that I'm thinking about it, that sounds like a better idea. See, this is where it's good for fusion to decide to explode. Uh, so I'm doing the crown. I'm only doing one spike at a time, and I'm gonna do offset from object, offset from the top, and make sure I switch it back to that. Pull it up and let me see how pointy I can get you. Oh, I hit your threshold. I'm sorry. Are you okay over there? <laughs> Coughing up a storm. Okay. That that's that's what I want. Okay. Can I do minus thirty-five? Oh, no minus thirty-five. Okay, fine. We'll go with minus thirty. That's that's fine. I can work with that. Alright, so now I'm going to do that to the other ones. So, extrude you from object. And we're going to do that at a, uh, I don't remember how high, so we'll just snap. Okay. I forget things easily. This is the reason why I'm recording this. 30, can I go more than 30? 35. 40. Oh, 40 is a breaking point. Okay. So we do 40 on you, and now I need this spike over here. Derps. Double derps. Alright. From object, and I think it was two, but you know, I'm just gonna snap, because I forget things. Let's see. Get you all the way to 40, maybe? Oh man! Oh, but you know what? That's too small. That's that's not even gonna be like be a layer, be a one one pass of the head. So I probably shouldn't even do that. All right. So I'm I'm actually that's not bad. Now now I just need to. Uh, those are the points for the crown. And. Hmm. So I need to have this part in the middle sort of mimic that same that same curve here. Uh, and I mean, this is gonna be kind of crude. I mean, because I'm trying to keep it a simple um, interpretation. Because I mean, I don't really pay myself for designing these things. <laughs> uh, so what I want to do is the same thing I've already done, which is extrude this profile from object, and it's going to be probably two? Yeah, probably just do two again. And wow, you have a very low threshold. 
Um, I can't even get a minus 10 on you. A minus 5? Minus 5. That doesn't really look very, uh, very pointy. Okay, um, maybe what I could do is create a separate sketch to where I'm literally just... Oh, well, you know, no, I don't want to do that. I'm trying to stick with basic modeling here. I don't want to get overly complex with this. I think one of the things I want to do, though, is separate separate the profile here because this technically isn't part of the band and neither is this over here. I think if, if you look closely at the art there's kind of a shadow in here. See, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back to this sketch. Oh, you know what? I better save because you never know I might break it. I'm good at that. Alright, so we're gonna do, we're gonna cut this off right here. I'm going to do a non-constrained, well, I'm not going to have it connected to anything. And then this one, go about yay, stop, update yourself, um, bodies should probably be back on. And now, will you let me, will you let me extrude you? Yeah. So. Gotta make sure I turn my body's back on. Oh. Oh, I've already forgotten what I was doing. From objects. No, we're joining. But, oh. Uh. Doing weird things over here. Turn off. I've been doing this. From object. Let me select the top. Yeah. I was being weird there for a second. It's like, no, you cannot do. I'm like, fine, I won't do. Even if I can just get five degrees? I can't even get five degrees. Okay, I need to think of like what is going on with my sketch. Uh, well, this could be part of it. That could be part of it. Why it doesn't want to. So I guess even though I didn't want to overly constrain anything, I need to clean up my sketch. So that's not the right one. Wrong sketch. This one. All right. So oh yeah, that's kind of that's kind of fishy. Um, I'm gonna view here. I just make sure I select that and select that. Oh, you know that probably would work if I just like actually make sure to select the stuff. So let's try this again. Extrude and get these little parts. Okay, I got the little bits. The little bits are selected, so now if I try to Oh, god damn it. Pay attention! From object, that's my object. I'm going the distance. I am going the distance. Will you let me? Oh, I got 10. Oh, 10, that's it. Cause it doesn't like, it's having issues with this curve. Well, you know what? I'm just gonna do my own chamfer and go from there. Uh, I probably should make sure it's the same distance as that. No? Fine. Okay, well, we'll do 1.5 then. I don't want to overcomplicate you. <clears throat> okay. I think what I'm going to attempt to do is see if I can do just a chamfer on these two edges. No? Fine. Oh yeah, I guess it wouldn't make- it would make sense that I can't do two. I could do 1.5, yeah. But I think I actually probably want to do two distances, so that way I can pull this in more. Yeah. And yeah, I could probably move that there. 
So if I did that more, that reflects better the top. I could even probably go in a little smidge more. No, well, I gotta make sure I can get a printer head down through here, so. I'm gonna stay okay with that. And what other lines do I need to add? I should add, well, no, no fillets. Always do your fillets last. Oh my God, do they break stuff. Never, never do your fillets at the beginning. You will regret it. No, I want equal. No equal, huh? We we are not equal. Oh, you probably are mad at this up here, aren't you? Maybe. Doesn't like those little bits. What if I do that? Nope. Still don't like it. Terrible. Just terrible. Bad. Okay. Well, if you want me to only do that, then. I will be forced to have to fill it you later. Um, the overall thickness of my insert might be a bit much now that I'm looking at this. Um, let's see. Yeah, I don't know if I really want it to be 3.1. I mean, that's that's pretty thick. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, Okay, since we're going to do something kind of crazy, I'm going to save. Well, I don't know if it's crazy. I just know that it might break, because it likes doing that. Um, I, what was I going to do? I totally distracted myself just now. Words. Oh, I'm shrinking it because I feel like it's too, too thick. Okay, so instead of 1.6 for the band, maybe do, like, just one, even? I mean, that's not a lot of, uh, difference. Yeah, I think I, I think I like one more. Because, I mean, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta visualize how thick this actually is. Alright. Uh, next thing, I should probably actually cut out my gem. From what I can tell right here, my gem line is like way too close to this line. To where if I cut that out, like that's that's not really gonna work. That's <laughs> totally not gonna work. I, I, I would have like a perimeter come down here, stop, and then go, and there'd be a gap, and that wouldn't look pretty. So yet again, I need to go back and edit my first sketch. And we'll move this, like just move it over a little. I know it's not truly art, but functionally, it wouldn't work. Okay. And too far, because now it's too close to this line. So they, these, these two lines here, I feel like that's too close. Like, way too close. I might have to actually shrink this entire gem as it is anyways. I'm hoping I won't, but... Uh, okay. So I'm going to go back and move this just a little bit slightly less that way like yeah that that's that's pretty good i i think i can work with that i think that's pretty good um it, honestly the the real the real thing that'll tell me whether or not it'll work is if i do an offset on this one millimeter out no, because I'm doing 0.4, right? So if I can do that and it doesn't run into it, hey, that's that's pretty good. I think that that might work. Um, I might be able to get a pass through here, maybe. Uh, uh, I don't know. I might be cutting it close. I feel like that's that's gonna be. We'll, we'll just see. Let's just see. So I need to cut out this from my crown. Alright, so you cut that out. And I know I said don't do fillets, but I kind of want to see... Yeah, so that's a 0.5 fillet. That's okay. Then I want my gem. And... I wanted to have it come in, although I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I need to look at the art itself. 
So it kind of has like a, I don't know, like a, like a, a coarse pattern, like, like if it was a, a gold nugget or something, but I'm not going to actually mimic that because that's, that's probably more than what the customer probably wants. So I think I'm actually just going to do, I'm going to extrude this, probably like one. And then I'm going to extrude that to have my curve. Well, not curve, but chamfer. No, we're not cutting. We're joining. Yes, dear. Uh, maybe go up more. Maybe. I want it to stand out. So I think two is a bit much. Maybe do 1.6. But I am going to have... Uh, this part go up more. Yeah, I think that's better. So let's see here. Um, can I chamfer this side? I always ask myself, you know, because it's kind of an asking. I mean, you're you're asking Fusion, are you going to let me do this? Because I really want to do this. So it seemed like that side worked. I might just have to do all these edges separately. Or not at all. To get them to work. I really don't think this edge likes me. No. That edge is like, no. Um, I could try to see if I can just delete this weird curve. Hey, that worked. Um, I better save because there's a good chance I'll break it again. Uh, so let's see here. Let's try our chamfer again. <gasps> it did! Oh man! Okay. Oh! Uh, only five. So point eight, maybe? No. Okay, let's try point seven. Point six! Five! Damn it. Okay. We'll just go with six, because that's kind of a thing. Uh, and I am, I'm, just, I'm just trying to give these more curvature so they're slightly less flat. Because, I mean, when it prints, I want to have somewhat of a definition to it. Um, so let's see here. Uh, I feel like this could use more, more of an angle. Cat, you actually want out right now? I didn't even know you were in here. Of course, that was that was had it. Our our, uh, our office cat. Um, she's the worst, most definitely. You can see a picture of her on our store if you want. All right. Uh, let's see what should turn off. Turn off the canvas. Probably turn off the sketch. And maybe actually paint this to see what it's going to look like. So the crown. The crown is white, um, and the gem is red. So the crown is white. I know I could probably make like my favorites library, but with as often as Fusion updates, yeah, it seems like a waste of time. It's easier, and I mean, the, this stuff is arbitrary, like, it doesn't really mean anything anyways. Uh, so that's essentially what the box would look like in a crude nature, right? I feel like it needs something though. I mean, I don't know. From from looking at the art, the crown the crown is on a pillow, right? But I mean, the customer asked for just the crown. So I mean, maybe maybe I shouldn't overdo it. I mean, they'll tell me whether or not they like it, but um, I kind of feel like the whole thing could take up more space. Uh, it seems slightly small, and I don't—I don't know if I like it straight either. Um, I think we should step back and scale this and kind of angle it because. 
I don't know, just the, the use of space. It, it needs something. It just, it feels unbalanced, and I don't want to add unnecessary things that the customer probably doesn't even want. So we're just going to use sketch scale to see if we can get this to a point that I feel comfortable with. Because I mean, as the artist, I'm still sort of supposed to be doing something here with it. Which we're probably going to have to fix that offset, but um, like I think making it bigger, yeah, we're going to have to fix that offset. And yeah do that. Uh, my offset's angry. So you get rid of that. Um, and then and then we'll we'll rotate this so it, it better fills the space. Because I mean you gotta admit it, it feels empty. Like like it's missing something. Right? Um, so maybe if it was like angled does that kind of work? Or is it supposed to? No, yeah, you would definitely want it this direction, not the other direction. Maybe not so angled? Like, maybe just that? I think that's kind of what I want. Oh, it's too far to that side. Okay. I think maybe try that. I mean, yeah. I don't know. I'll have a tarot look at it, you know, and maybe maybe he'll say like, oh yeah, it, it seems fine. So that is that, right? We updated our sketch. Now I need to step through our timeline to make sure it actually worked. Just update. Oh, my fillet got mad. Why did my fillet get mad? Oh, because you probably don't know what your edge is. There. And I don't remember what I had you at. Uh, 0.5? Probably. Although I guess you know, I could probably do like 1. No, that's too much. 0.5. Alright. And stepping along. Got that. And my last chamfer got mad. 0.6 because why oh there's kind of a weird a weird point there now that's unfortunate point um point can I just add you no you don't like that okay well that's fine <clears throat> Uh, we will just go ahead and delete that feature, and um, we'll just use a fillet. <laughs> fillet everything if it doesn't work, and then a fillet might not even work. Uh, so I guess without editing it further, I should have uh, the opinion of my expert. Uh, let me know what he thinks. As long as he's not trying to hold Wesley together and I can have him look at it, maybe. Just trying to edit the, the bed. What do you think? Right? So that would be the top. I angled it because I had it straight and it kind of felt like there was too much of a gap over here. So I felt like off-centering this kind of helped. So this is, this is the body, this is the art of it. With the spikes here. So... What do you think is your opinion? I was going to add a couple more fillets, but... Yeah, I think that what's recognizable is... Recognizable is what, what he asked for? Okay. I, I, would, I would probably agree. I, I think that's, that's agreeable. Um, one of the things that I kind of want to change is this little portion here. I sort of want to see... So on the art, it has it. It, ha it goes behind, right? Because it's a band, it's a three-dimensional object. So this part that I created is supposed to go behind, but I don't have it cut that way. Um, so what I'm going to try is I'm going to try to use my sketch as a cut. 
Is that the right one? I don't even know if that's the right one! Where's my line? I can't see my line. Oh, I didn't make one. Well then. Uh, extend. We'll extend the line. Okay. So, go back to the sketch. And extend. Yay. I, I, I know. Y you're very angry. Alright. So, stop sketch. Update yourself. Update yourself, Fusion. Alright. So now I, now I have that cut there. So, if I turn my bodies on, which is all foobard, what, what do... Oh, there was something that got changed that you didn't like. Okay. Um, so step back. Right? Oh. Is that why? Oh, you don't think it's a complete sketch now? Well, what's the deal? Better see what... Uh, says you're not connected. So, did I not extend you far enough? That's possible. I don't even know what kind of line you just made. Well, let's get rid of this constraint, because I don't like that. And then push it past. Okay, now you are a separate piece. Maybe that's what your weird issue was? I mean, not you, but, um, you know, fusion, doing weird stuff. So this is the cut, right? Okay, I cut it, step forward, and step forward again, and that was the offset cut, yes, okay. And that's missing. So we will add you. Okay. Keep going. Good, 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 good. Still pretty good. Alright. So we were back where I was. Okay. Now what I was trying to do, and I'm pretty sure you forgot, because I almost did, is you should save. Oh, yes. That's, that's what you should do. Because I wanted to make this look like it's going behind. So I'm going to try and do a split face. I've, I've done this before, and, and it worked. This this might not work, though, so we'll, we'll see. Um, so okay. Looks like it cut it, right? I can select it separately. All right, and I want to use a draft. And now that I'm looking at my line, I don't like that line. It looks bad, doesn't it? Oh, we'll have to mess with it later. Ah. Draft. Uh, my plane is this, my face is that. Nope, that's not my face. That's not my face. You won't let me select that one? Oh, probably because it's not really tangent from it so um how about this face and then this face oh okay well you're split so I guess uh, I'll extrude uh, minus 0.1 to cut and then we'll do the draft again and oh, I need a flat face it doesn't like that it's a curve, so it doesn't like to use a draft that's not on a curve. So I'm gonna go back. I know it's so much, so much back and forth, but this is this is literally my work. This is this is what I do. Okay. Um. Instead of instead of extending that, I'm gonna do a straight line, so you can't get mad at me. To connect here. And I'm probably going to want to move this because that's not going to let me move, is it? How about if I trim? Okay. Trim that. Trim that. Right? And then I suppose extend this and then trim because that's really the only way that you're going to be happy. Trim. Okay. Alright. We just did a bunch of stuff that potentially broke our sketch. Hopefully not. I didn't really alter it that much, though. 
Stop sketch. Um, yes, of course, you don't know there's new sketch profile there, so add you. Okay, stepping forward. Okay, so far so good? Nope. You need to be added. Okay, stepping forward. Okay, so that's what I wanted to look at. Yeah, it has... Oh, you know, that kind of looks weird. I think, uh... I don't think that point is supposed to be there. I think I may have missed something? Oh no, yeah, it's supposed to be. Derps. Okay, so I split my face. I extruded it. But I think I need to select a new splitting tool because I want the line not the not the curve yeah that's that's more what I was trying to do will you let me use my draft now oh my god I think it might haha -ha. okay now I can't go too far down maybe yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe try that. What's what's the distance between this here? Because that's that might not be thick enough to actually print. Point three. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's not gonna print. Can we possibly try the draft before I did an extrude? Let's try this. Draft face. Nope. Okay, so I have to do an extrude. Oop. Undo draft. Okay, so we'll just edit the draft. And maybe instead of five degrees, do three. That might be okay. I mean, honestly, you're not going to see a whole lot of difference on this, but uh, yeah. All right, so I added a draft to that. So visually, from this perspective, you won't really see it, but when it's printing. There's going to be extra perimeters here that kind of have a, a sort of line mark to where it almost looks like a shadow, is, is sort of what you would be visualizing. Um, and to, to show you what I'm talking about, I could actually just slice this real quick. Um, so if I take just the crown that I'm going to try to do here, we're putting it in toys, deck boxes, EH mag. And here, and so this is the Marchesa crown, and Repetier, and then we'll add, oops, wrong folder, Schmeg, Marchesa, oh, where are you, Marchesa crown. Right? Okay, so here's our Marchesa crown. I'm trying, the, the purpose of bringing it in here is I want to show you wh what it's going to look like with the tool path, right? Now I have the fat nozzle selected right now, so it might not actually look that great. But yeah, see it's a, it's a stair step, right? But then this is so thin that it doesn't matter how wide the nozzle is. But I think that works. That's, that's actually not bad. That, I think that'll work. That's a good insert, right? So, um, let's see, I think, I think that, that about does it, uh, except for I would like to add some fillets, right? So before we get crazy with fillets, yeah, it's already saved, okay. So I want to add some fillets here, maybe a 0.5. I mean, you're not going to really see them very well. Maybe a little bit. Just enough so it's like slightly curved to where it's a little more finessed in uh, variation so it's not completely uh, flat because that can be slightly unsavory in in my opinion uh, other people probably think differently about that um, so yeah I think I think a fillet on the band is good and I should try to attempt to put a fillet here 
Still nothing. What if I do a setback? Come on. 0.5? Can I can I get a 0.1? I can get a 0.1. That's that's it. Man, you are you are so so moody on that. Can I delete this? Oh, well that didn't work. Fine. We won't delete that then. Oh, there, there's just there's got to be something I can do with this this corner. I don't I don't like it's it'll be like one one thing, but I, I don't know. Point one. Can I do a point two? No. Can I do a point one five? No. Literally only point one. All right. And it's probably because this face is screwing with me, so it doesn't like it. It's angry. Uh, I definitely want to add another fillet here to kind of curve that, so that way it has more of a gradual, a gradual uh, on the z height there. Um, let's see. That's that's it, I think. Save it. And then I guess the uh, the next part I would do to get it ready for the customer. Um, I know there's other ways of doing this, but this is how I do it. Um, I just go into Photoshop and basically set up screenshots. Because in Etsy, you can only have three images per message. And me personally, I don't really like the idea of um, only getting three. That seems like not very many. So do that picture and then that picture. And I also like being more concise. Like just put it all in one picture. It looks nicer. So this is this is the Marchesa kinda oops. Not really paying attention. So that's, I could probably, no, I'll put it there. Can do that, and then this, and of course you could probably use a different software for this, you don't have to do this in particular. Um, I mean, I'm basically just cropping, you don't really need to have a certain thing for that. Uh, Gotta stay organized. All right, and I would just send that to the customer, and then they let me know if uh, if it works or not. And yeah, that's that's basically my workflow for uh, interpreting something from uh, technically a painting into something that can be 3D printed. So, thanks for watching if you did, and uh, now I get to go see how terrible I did. <laughs>